Adventure Quest Worlds, the massively multiplayer game that plays in your web browser. In the mystical forest of Orchid Grove, you will find gorilla fence, seed spinners, and a tower containing the secrets of magic. magic. How will you fare when the next Lord of Chaos is magic itself? Happening now on Adventure Quest World. Play free now at www.aq.com. Hey guys, it's me Falcor, and welcome back to a video where you'll hopefully get a bit of nostalgia. I'm going to go over my top 10 favourite nostalgic maps, at least for me. You guys may have different ones, of course, but I feel like everyone will resonate with these choices. First of all, we got a map which I can't show because it no longer exists. It's going to be Ballyhoo, at the number 10 spot. Now, as you all know, if you were a very poor child, who had no ACs, this was the spot to come. You'd come here every day, you'd speak to Ballyhoo, you'd do your things, and you'd hope that you'd get like 15, 20 ACs, just a day. You know, it's one of those things where, at least for me, when I had nothing, I was doing this, I was doing the rewards where you had to download apps and stuff, I was just trying anything I could to get any in-game currency besides gold. It's really a shame they got rid of it, probably because they just couldn't keep up with the ads and stuff and what you needed to do especially with the switch over to the application. But still one of my favorite maps. You're also able to pick up the house if you want to and slash join houses, I'm pretty sure. Coming in at the number nine spot, we have Yulga. Now, is there any better place to AFK? I don't know. I wouldn't say so, to be honest. Everyone used to come here, chat and AFK, just hang out. Obviously they've updated the map recently in this past year, but I'll shove a picture on the, uh, on the screen right now of the old one. And, just in general, Yulga was a place to be. So many memories here, the cool little suggestion shops Yulga has, one and two, some really cool AC tagged items, I remember buying a sword for like 24,000 gold, telling my family and then them thinking I actually spent real money on it, for some reason, but uh, yeah. Next up we have Boxes. Now, Boxes really cool place, Sneevultron, sick armour. Sick thing to have in your house is like a little guest person type thing, you know what I'm on about. And just, I feel like this map, you know, you could hide behind a wardrobe here. There's so many little details like these goblins, or Sneevels more so, kicking their legs, just sat about, doing nothing. And it just feels very nostalgic to come here just because of the map design being so old and so are the enemies. Thankfully, none of these guys have actually changed throughout the years, so uh, yeah. Okay, number 7 on my list has to be Akiba. Now, it's not more so for the map and the details surrounding Akiba, it's literally just this screen and the Dragon Koi tournament. These guys here, the coolest AC shop when I was a kid, I was like, yo, this blade, I need it. Did I have it? No, because I had no money. But, you know, you come in here, and of course when I was a kid, I loved Pokemon. And seeing like Bash Ketchup and his Pokemog or whatever, and Pocky Chew and stuff. Really cool. I didn't really have a clue what any of these other characters necessarily were. I knew kind of Goku, Naruto. Didn't see Scorpion and uh, the Freezy dude, Sub Zero. But overall, I used to just love coming here, checking out the items despite me not being able to afford them, and even doing like this little fight here. In the number six place, we have the famous map known as Crash Site. What can you get here? Well, let me tell you. A couple classes. Most notoriously, Rust Bucket. Now, back in the day, when you started this game, you had Warrior, Mage, Healer, and you were like, you know, wh wh what should I get? Nobody played Rogue, by the way. I don't know. Probably a few people did. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I used to come here. I used to be like, Phew. you know, you already know I'm going for Rust Bucket. Grab myself Rust Bucket, kill this little dude over here. I think I was like the best in the whole game to be fair. But yeah, just for the class alone, perfect map. I used to love it. The next map is gonna be Tavern. I'm pretty sure this has been updated slightly, but in Dwarfhold, this has to be one of my favorite areas despite it being like literally the starting area. I just think Tavern is such a clean little map. I like the vibes going around the place. I know some people kind of hang out here still. I'm not sure, a couple guilds kind of use it as their guild place just to kind of meet up. I really wish you could get a house just in this whole format right now, just to have. Um, I may have missed it, but I don't think you can. Maybe rare, I'm not too sure. But I really, really love Tavern so much. 
Now for the number four spot, I kind of have to do a combination here. First of all, Doodle. I used to think the items here were so cool from the dragon. Uh, but also, from here, you can also get to Hyperion, including the Dwaykel Decoder you get from Crash Site. And I thought that interaction was just so cool. Like, this dude was just dropped super cool stuff. Like, this is from the thing earlier, but you can get stuff like this. Like, look at that. The hand-drawn armor, I don't know why, but I thought it was so sick back in the day. Obviously, I couldn't wear it. Non- non-legend of course we got his helmet and then you get the secret hideout map just like this now if we equip the map in our hand and click it with a joyful decoder you kind of need to do a thing um like speaking to j6 but if you if you come around to like this area on the map and just click it you'll be teleported to hyperion and look how cool this map was like you can get houses similar to this but I remember so many times I'd just come here and try and kill these defense turrets because you had no chance back in the day. You had no chance at all of doing this. Like, I'm not too sure if they'd still kill me, to be honest. No, they just let me walk past. But back in the day, like, these turrets were enabled. You used to get killed over and over and over. No chance of you getting past really unless you killed them slightly. And then you got his little hideout room. Now, I won't spoil the, the little, you know, puzzle in here, but you can get to a little shop. Uh, I'll let you figure out a puzzle for yourself, or you can search it up online. Um, super cool stuff in the shop, you still use it nowadays as well. However, you can just turn a different map, I think it's hyperspace. I'm not too sure, but you can speak to J6 here. Really cool dude. He's got some quests about as well, I think on the third floor. Second floor. First floor. Yeah, first floor it is, I knew that, guys. But if you come here, there's a little bounty hunter sheet here. And there's some missions you can do. And honestly, it's just a really cool little map. From here on out, it's going to be a similar vibe, not going to lie. Uh, Gilead. The Earth Shaman. Just the bosses on this area. The Mana Golem. Honestly, everything here, I used to love so much. I don't know what it was. Obviously, you used to farm Norgath items. You'd find a person with Norgath larvae and you'd click it and you, you, you'd be mint. You, you would be over the moon, especially if you didn't have membership or anything, that you found someone with a pet and you were able to just, you know, go there and go, okay, cool, now I can finally do it. And also, so many of these maps just had little puzzles you could do to go to the next room, and I found that so neat. Like, back in the day, you had so many of these maps, and now they sort of seem to be kind of dying off a bit. It's just, oh, collect this item, do this quest, and now you can go to the next area. Um, I don't think I'll be able to go to the next area up here because there's also a load of puzzle going on. However, you know, oh, I can. There we go. Cool. Here's a mana elemental. I think the golem's on the next map, actually. But yeah, mana elementals drop some pretty sick stuff, to be honest. And yeah. Okay, so the next map is going to be elemental in the number two position. Uh, obviously, clear reasons. Really cool design. Um, I just love Dark and Grove designs as a, as a whole, to be honest. You'd come up here, you'd uh, you kind of just shove yourself in this room. Everyone would be here, either stood about in this little corner here, or right in the center, just attacking the Mana Golem. Once again, doing Norgath Larvae quests. And this dude just dropped some really cool stuff, to be honest. I'm not sure if he's going to drop anything right now, but we'll try our best. And honestly, just one of my favorite little bosses in this whole game. I killed him, he didn't drop anything sadly, I had to cut it because I just changed my changed my weapon so <laughs> it was doing pretty bad. But um, yeah, I just really love this map, especially just the vibes I had back in the day. Everyone would hang out here and just kill this dude over and over and over again and I loved it. This was the only way I used to farm Norgath items and I didn't even do a good job with that but I just really like it. Okay, and the number one position for me has to be Arkan Grove. I'm sorry, but the amount of hours as a kid I spent here farming this reputation for shaman, an elemental shaman, or evolved shaman, whatever it's called, the bad one, out of the two. Dude, I just spent so long here, and I come back here every now and again, obviously, to do different quests, and you can do some other quests here from more recent events. But in here, before the seed spitters, there used to be gorilla fence. There used to be gorilla fence, that's all I have to say. And, you know, now I have to go to this next room here for my gorilla fence. 
you know a bit of injustice in my opinion but once again Arkham Grove topped his story topped him map best part about this whole game guaranteed in my humble opinion you can't get much better than this now obviously like I said if I missed any maps out please let me know um, but these are my top 10 these are just my top 10 there's so many which I missed out on purpose because you know there's just so many to include which are nostalgia now like I said if you have any feel free to just shove them in the comments people can visit them I hope it brought back some decent memories for you as well I know I missed out on a lot of places but yeah if you like the content please feel to subscribe please feel free to subscribe if I can actually speak properly and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day, good night, good evening. Bye.